My name is Kira Ganson and I live in Los Angeles, California. Growing up, I've always had various mental obstacles that just kind of felt very alienating because everybody else seemed so normal and I didn't understand why my mind didn't process the same way. I didn't understand why I always felt like I was just drowning in fear. And then when I got into like middle school, high school, I started really diving into like existentialism and like absurdism, just like some sort of philosophical answer as to why my brain is wired different. And I came to the conclusion that time truly just scares the shit out of me. You can't control it, you feel stuck in it. It's just so overbearing all the time and it scares me so much. And I realized that the one thing that I could control is how I understood time and how I looked at it. So when I take a picture, it's holding the present into the future. It's a gift that I can give to somebody. When I take a picture, it's holding a moment that you can never go back to, but they can look at it and feel like they're in that moment again. And kind of the same thing with music. Music has that same power. It submerges you into another person's life. It takes you back in time. Those two things, I feel, are the only two things that really have that power. Mainly my thought process with my editing is I try to channel the moment that I took the picture into the picture. When I do shows, I have my little notebook that I bring with me and I write super, super extensive notes as to what's going on. Like the lighting, the crew, how people talk to each other, like what's happening on stage, how they talk to each other on stage, what instruments they're playing, stuff like that. And I try to channel that into the photos that I'm taking and how I edit them afterwards. So each photo is particularly targeted towards the person that I'm photographing. I would say the best way to get your work out there is just going to shows, which sounds so silly. And I remember when I first started shooting, everybody was like, oh, you just have to talk to people. Gotta be yourself and go to shows and rarely say no to a job. I'm not gonna say never say no to a job because sometimes you need to say no to a job. Opening your mind to what you're capable of doing. Cause when I first started shooting, I was like, I want to do photography and that's it. I'm not going to do anything else. And now I do production. I do project coordination. I'm, I do technical directing. Like I have just opened my mind to all these different things just from meeting people at shows. Stay in touch with the people you meet. Never know where a shoot might take you. I love when I get to hide on stage, when I get to crouch behind amps and like sprint around behind everybody. I feel like that is the best way to get the grittiest, most raw photos because even the band doesn't even see you there because they can clearly see you in the photo pit. But if you're on stage hiding behind them, I've done that at a lot of different Hall Johnson shows and those are always my favorite shots. I really love... If it's like an arena show, I love running through the crowd. I love getting pictures of people that you would never see otherwise because it's they're just so far away. For example, when I did the Chris Cornell tribute show in Inglewood uh, in 2018, I had all access and I was sprinting through that arena like nobody's business. I was so sore after, but I have so many really fun, beautiful shots of people in the nosebleeds, like people that you would literally never see otherwise, and I love that. When I'm photographing really, really big artists, you would assume that I'd have a lot of pressure, but they are honestly some of the nicest people I've met, like that particular list, like Shawn Mendes, Miley Cyrus, Foo Fighters, that group are, they're fantastic. When I met Miley, I was doing uh, the Chris Cornell tribute show, and she was on stage doing her sound check and I was on stage testing white balance for the production crew. And so I was just standing like a yard away from this mega celebrity that I love. I love Miley Cyrus. And I was like, I'm gonna shoot my shot. So I looked over when she was done and I was like, hey Miley, that sounded great. And she looked at me, she was like, thank you so much. Your hair looks so good. And I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, what did you just say? And then for the rest of the night, every time she saw me, she'd be like, hey girl. And I was like, oh my goodness. So. I think people would assume that there'd be more pressure because they are these huge, huge ar artists, but they're just people. The pressure goes away, kind of, as you continue shooting over the years. I did just recently move to LA, and I'm still adjusting a little bit. It feels very normal. I kind of just picked up my current living situation in Dallas and moved it here. I've got a bunch of shows that I am working on in the next couple of months. I've been really getting into production as like an assistant coordinator. I'm kind of reserving photography as something that makes me happy instead of a job. Not saying that a job can't make you happy, but I kind of struggle with that. So I'm kind of keeping it as something for me and not really referring to it as work. I'm really excited for the future. It's very 
obviously open-ended. I've got a lot of different open doors right now and I've got a lot of people in my corner and I'm trying to be as open as I can possibly be with, you know, accepting this love and the support from everywhere. Like, it's support that I never even expected. It even blows my mind that you wanted to do an interview with me. Work-wise, you know, I just did the Dave season two premiere for Lil Dicky. I just did the Friends reunion premiere at Hollywood Forever. And I've got a couple of things lined up in that regard. So like with FX, with Disney, with Netflix, like just random sporadic gigs over the next couple of months. Photo wise, I've got a new magazine that I'm working for. I'm trying to start my own. I've got a zine that I'm working on. I'm going to start selling prints again. So as soon as I'm fully settled and, you know, ready to hustle, I'm going to blow everyone away.